Kokomi piece. So I did, if you read the title, yes, yes I did by Claire Sonic. I bought the Aria. Uh, this coming from the girl, if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that uh, last time I went to Vegas, so not the trip that you've seen all the vlogs and hauls for, but the time before that, uh, that I went to Vegas, I bought a Clarisonic, like so excited to try it out, and then I sort of panicked even before I got to opening the box because I'd been watching a bunch of reviews and stuff, and I returned it without even using it because I was scared it was going to destroy my skin. And instead I ended up buying the Foreo Luna, which I love. I have a whole um, review for it and I'll link it down below. And I still use the Luna and I really love it. But I have also been loving this guy. And yeah, let's talk about it. Um, I'm not going to do like a full, full review, but I'm going to tell you um, why I love it. And sort of if you have sensitive skin, slash you might be have been sort of afraid of trying it out, um, what I found that I really love with this guy. Yeah, when I was at Sephora, I picked up a bunch of stuff, including the, the Aria. I'll link my whole Sephora haul down below, but um, they had, if I can still find the pack that I bought this guy with, like it has a special packaging obviously, but it was a whole kit. If I can find it, I will link it down below. If not, I'll just link the Clarisonic page on Sephora.com down below and like check it, because they have all the new, they have a, a, they always have a bunch of new packs that come in um, sort of regularly where you can get like for the price of just the the Clarisonic itself the Clarisonic plus a bunch of accessories that make it sort of versatile and, and you know you save some money that way um, save some money you get more bang for your buck that way so this set that I saw first the handle I thought was incredibly cute but it, it came with a couple things that I was like well if I don't love the way it works on my face um, I can still get some good use out of it so this one came with a handle that sort of clips on the back and has a long, like you, you hold on to it. I would show it to you, but I used it last night and it's still drying, um, so I'm not going to bring it around all these electronics. But you, you clip it on and then it has a, a different head that you put on it and you can use it on your body. So if you want to do just some more deep exfoliation of like your arms or like your legs or all that kind of good stuff, it just really gets in there and helps wash wash that stuff. And I've really been enjoying it that way. And especially with winter coming on, I have some sort of dry patches, and this really helps to just help exfoliate, 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 exfoliate those, and leave my skin really nice and soft and supple. And so that was the first reason I liked it. The other thing that I liked about the Aria is that now they have a head. Technically, you're just supposed to use it for the plus, and the plus is the one that's just supposed to be for your body. But we tried it at the store, and it fits on the Aria. They have a, a head that you can put on as well for like. It's called a Petty something. I'll leave the link for those adjustable heads um, down below. But basically, it, it's sort of like a buffing. Um, you guys know those little buffing machines that you use when you get a pedicure or what have you? So yeah, you can clip those on too, and then you could get all like your heels and all that sort of dry skin. And so I thought, what a great way. That way, you know, I have really, really dry heels all year long. And so I found that that would be like a really cool way to just to, to exfoliate that part um, of my body as well. And so it also came with a bunch of other little like a Bosha BB cream, which I did a first impressions video on that I'll link it down below. Um, and then some skincare stuff. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to try this out. We're going to see what happens. And I actually am loving it. And so the head that I have on it, it's one of the most delicate ones in the line. And so I thought I'd start delicate and build my way up to stuff until my skin got used to it. And I think that's really going to be the best way for me to do it because when I first used it, it, it was a little bit, it felt a little bit abrasive and so I just had to sort of take my time and only use it for a minute. And the way that I've been loving using it, that's why I sort of want to sit here and not do a whole review. I just want to tell you the way that I've been loving using it and how it's been working for me. I don't use it, I have very delicate skin, delicate, yeah, and sensitive skin. And so, um, but to this, but also my problem is that I get very congested skin so I have recently been having a lot of cystic breakouts and it's been driving me mental because I'm like I have just this most delicate skin and I can't really use anything too abrasive on it but how do I combat all this stuff so it's been six weeks of of skin without breakouts like I'll get the occasional dot dot like spot or whatever um, mainly if I like I had too much sugar that day or there's a hormonal reason for it but the cystic stuff that was on my cheeks and really painful has subsided completely and I'm just in the process of, of waiting for, you know, the scarring from that to heal. 
And so it's been six weeks and there are only two things I changed and um, I changed them at different times. Like I brought them in three weeks apart just to make sure that, that I knew what was what was doing the effect. And the first thing is um, I've gotten a new toner. It's a chia seed toner from the face shop. So I will link that down below. Um, it, I love that guy. It, it's phenomenal. It's a little bit hard to uh, track down because I know face shops aren't everywhere, but if you can get access to it, it's phenomenal. The second thing is this guy. And so the way I use this is the same way I would use like an exfoliant um, because that's really what it does. It just sort of gets in there and exfoliates that, that, that dead skin and, and that dirt and, and grime. And so I use it on its lowest setting with a sensitive brush head about two to three times a week depending on how my skin is doing for a minute. And so it times it, right? So you've got 20 seconds, 20 seconds, um, 15 and 15 I think. I can't remember, but it does it by itself. But I, I use it that way, and I use it obviously with just really a nice, simple um, cleanser, something like my Nutritive Cleanser from Paracone MD. I have a review for this guy. If it's gone up, I will link it down below. If not, it's coming up this week. But um, I just use it that way, and my skin feels super squeaky clean, like really, really clean afterwards. I know not everyone loves that squeaky clean feeling, so if you don't, that's not for you. But... Um, I find that anything more than, than twice or three times a week is just too much. Just like using an exfoliant like a Kate Somerville Exfoliate more than two or three times a week would be too much. And so um, I've really found that, that if you have sensitive skin and you've been worried about a Clarisonic or if you've tried it and it's broken you out too much, don't use it quite as often. Use it sort of in moderation and see how it really does help your skin. And so um, yeah, this was not so much a review as like uh, sensitive skin person's guide to the Clarisonic, if that makes sense. Because um, I think it's a really lovely tool, just has to be used the right way. Um, and again, this is the way I use it and what's been working for me. We're all slightly different. Um, so definitely share the ways that you guys uh, use it, what your skin types are, what your skin concerns are. Share all that good stuff down below. But you know, the more we know, <laughs> the, the, the better it is um, for all of us because we can all learn from that. Okay, I'm, I'm done, I think, for the day. Uh, let's do points of positivity and then I will be off. So my first point of positivity, I thought I was scratching my face. Um, do we all do that really sensitive, like I've got makeup on my face, I've got to be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, my first point of positivity is uh, last night I caught an episode of, oh my gosh, what are they called? Penn and Teller's Fool Me. It's, um, Penn and Teller's new show where they let sort of magicians or illusionists come in and do tricks and if they can fool them, um, I think they win money, that's what I understood. I caught like not the whole episode, I caught parts, bits and pieces of it. Um, but I remember when we were in Vegas, they were talking about how this new show was going to air. So it was exciting to like, you know when you see someone like live at a concert or whatever and then you see them again on TV or YouTube or whatever, you just have, feel like that much more connected and that much they feel that much cooler. So yeah, it was one of those nights last night, which definitely made me very happy. My second point of positivity is a really lovely vegetable barley soup last night. I'm a huge soup girl. Um, and it's it's nearing, uh, nearing, we are in full-fledged fall. There's a uh, itch on my face. Um, we are nearing into fall. And so I just love soup all the time, but especially in fall. So I had a really lovely soup yesterday that definitely left me very happy. And then my third point of positivity is watching the leaves start to turn. So the leaves started turning from green to yellow and red and all that good stuff. We don't get a lot of that before the snow hits, so I'm enjoying all those pretty colors while I can. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Please let me know what's making you guys smile today. Uh, I want to send you guys tons of love. Thank you so, so much for being here. Hope you're having an awesome day. And as always, I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.